Tyrannosaurus Rex, Megalodon, Raptors, and Triceratops are marvels that still hold the attention of the masses. Something about megafauna seems to capture the attention of both young and old. A world of a distant age lay scripted in stone in a language we are still trying to understand. It is both marvelous and mysterious. It is frightening yet fantastic. And today, it lays in front of us in this beautiful bullion coin from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Welcome back to the Culture of Currency, where we like to dive deep into our silver stack in search of a value beyond the bullion price. Today, we have a fantastic creature in the Liopleridon. This creature, as seen in the beautiful imagery displayed out on the reverse, is focused on eating some kind of cephalopod, much like a modern-day squid. We see also an ichthyosaur of some type in the distance. It is a fantastic image. The Liopleridon is not a fish, but is actually a marine reptile. In fact, most of the monsters of the sea of old would have been reptiles who would have to rise to the surface to take in air. Many popular varieties would include plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, elasmosaurs, and yes, mosasaurs, which were popularized in the Jurassic World franchise. A good way to know if it is a reptile or a fish would be the ending letters. Marine animals ending in the letters S-A-U-R, soar, would often be reptiles. As the coin suggests, this creature would have thrived about 160 million years ago, meaning it is from the Jurassic period. What is also cool is the world looked quite different but the oceanic elements that sustain abundant life would have been similar to our own current age. Things like the elevation changes, coastal areas, reef structures, and currents would provide ample areas for the Liopleridon to thrive, and many experts believe that this being said, you would have found evidence of these living almost everywhere above the pelagic region of the ocean, as being an air breather, going too deep in the pelagic would be difficult. The sperm whale is a current expert of the behavior, but most other air breathing marine life steer clear of these depths. The Liopleridon is seen as an apex predator of its day, meaning there are not animals thought to have preyed upon it. There are probably instances where juveniles would have been preyed upon, but the full-grown adults are estimated to have been up to 30 feet long or 10 meters for our imperial friends. Many experts also believe that the Liopleridon would have given live birth rather than lay eggs as is traditionally found in most of the reptiles today. In fact, we do see some things like sea snakes that are aquatic, such as the coral reef sea snake, that does have live birth today, so it must be a very similar process. Such a beautiful and terrifying creature, but is it right for your collection? Let's find out today as we place it on our 60-point scale. When we look at the obverse, we are met with a familiar friend in the coat of arms of the Democratic Republic of Congo. As always, I have an in-depth look at the host nation in my first video of a coin hosting that nation, so if you want to know more about the Democratic Republic of Congo, make sure you watch my first video over this nation, which I think is over the silverback. This is a very similar look. Africa has some of the coolest coats of arms, and this is no exception. I like just about every part of this obverse, except for maybe the mirrored background. I often find that a touch of texture can really help lift an image. It's still pleasing, however, and I scored an 8. Now when we move to the reverse, we have the Leopleridon actively hunting a cephalopod of some type, while the ichthyosaur in the background is observing and probably thanking the Leopleridon for not eating him instead. This is very accurate, as my research indicates that fossilized beaks and shells of these cephalopods have been found in Leopleridon's stony remains. I love the movement of the water, as well as the coral structure in the foreground. We have the prehistoric life series mark in the legend, which denotes that this is a single coin from a 12-part series. More on that in a little while. We also see in a rather small font the name of our beast as well as the estimated range of life on Earth, placing it in the Jurassic period. One should note that we also have a timeline extended with the curvature of the coin, denoting a couple of the most popular prehistoric eras, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. 
The Liopleurodon is well depicted overall, and I think that this scene is really something to behold. I scored a 9. Now we hit Mintage. This series is noted for quite low Mintage and is also an Apmex exclusive. So if you want this or any other coin from this fantastic series, I would check Apmex first as that is the only place to get them fresh. However, you might get lucky on a secondary website like eBay. The Mintage for this beautiful coin is capped at 10,000, which is quite low and scores a 9. By the way, as of the filming of this video, there are still some of these available, so get yours as soon as possible. Cultural significance is our next area to take a look at. I find the subject matter like dinosaurs transcend many of the other standard cultural boundaries as well with the movement of continents over time and changes that happened over millennia, many of the amazing animals of the past really belong to us all rather than certain nations. This coin hosts a story for all of us, plus the Liopleurodon being aquatic could be found around most all land masses, therefore it scores a 10. Now for collectability. Dinosaurs are one of the most popular genres of developing minds. As we age, we tend to shift our thoughts from what a dinosaur is to how. We can chase rabbit holes to wonderlands as played out in the Jurassic Park franchise or simply wonder how big a brachiosaur would have been in person. But either way, the idea of the dinosaur does not fade. Though the Liopleurodon does not hold the status of a T-Rex, it is still one that can give you the chills if you are ever sailing in the open ocean. This paired with the series and mintage makes it even more valuable, though it being an Apmex exclusive may blind it to many potential buyers, unless of course they're watching my channel or they visit the website. They are likely not to know about this coin unless they do those two things. So I scored an eight. Our last category is uniqueness. This is a unique creature. In fact, I would think its cousins, the Mosasaur and Plesiosaur, that we know as the Loch Ness Monster, are more known varieties of marine reptiles. So hats off to the series designer for not going the easy path and choosing an amazing creature that we get to learn about. This is a very unique bullion coin, as I only found one coin ever having it. It is low mintage, and it is not going to be minted anymore, so it scores a 10, bringing us to our final thoughts and score. The Liopleurodon lurks past the line at an elite 54 out of 60, meaning this is a fantastic and elite coin for any and all collectors. It passes the test with flying colors and in fact, in more ways than I was anticipating. I have a feeling that this will be a coin that will cruise continually in value over time and I'm excited to track it over time and bring you our findings. Thank you so much for watching and as always, Please remember to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.